So today we are washing, well basically you can't see my dad's car. Why is it here? We're on wash, we're on wash stuff like, and there's bird poop. Why is there bird poop? <laughs> Side note, I was on a live stream the other day. I was having trouble, but we made some progress. I don't know if you guys were on the live stream, but this did not look like that when I started. So, super pumped about it. Alrighty, what's happening? So, uh, today's, today's plan slash goal is to pretty much continuation of streetcar. We're gonna replace the side mirrors with some mirrors that we got a few months ago. I never put them on, I got them and just kind of sat on them. I figured like one day I'd install them and get inspiration. Now that my goal is to make the car black, uh, I'll probably just keep them black. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. I believe I got them from eBay. I'm curious to see how they fit, how they feel, how they look. The only reason I got them is because my one mirror is literally broken. See what type of hardware they require and, uh, or even tools more so, and then get them installed. Should, shouldn't be too hard, hopefully, maybe, but you never know, you know what I'm saying? It is this channel. The channel of a man trying to be a man. I've actually never tried to replace Side mirrors before. I don't know. I don't really know what type of style this would be. So I don't really like that, but I don't have turning signals and I guess my idea when I first bought these is to put these as my turning signals. I don't know. Let's just put them on and see how they look. be the worst fitting side mirrors I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm not, like the holes are just quarter inch plus off. I don't know if I, I gotta, maybe I'm missing hardware, I don't know. This, it fits horribly. I mean granted, I know what to expect when you're dealing with uh, cheap aftermarket side mirrors, but. But if you look at the holes, like, I don't know if you can see, but like, there's the hole, right? And when it, look how off it is. Like, all right, that's, that's that hole. And then the other hole's up here. It just does not fit. And I don't know if I'm supposed to drill in. I don't know what I'm gonna do that. Maybe tape them up and see how they look at first. Cause I could just order good side mirrors down the road instead of putting crappy ones. I don't even know why I ordered these, honestly. All right, here's a little test fit to see even, even if I want to put them on. So I don't even know if I want to explore this option. Uh, let's see what they look like. They don't look that bad, honestly. Aside from this, they don't look that bad. They sit a little high. But if I were to secure them, you know, I would, I would be able to get them tighter in. I just wedged a screw in there. I didn't drill through or anything. Let's see what they look like. I don't like how high they sit though. They sit like so high. Uh, I don't think it looks that bad. What do you think, Zang? I said, oh, I just poked them in the eye. Poked her in the eye. I'm sorry, bud. Sorry, bud. <laughs> All right, so let's see. I don't think it looks that bad, honestly. 
I know, Zank, I know. Look at the baby. I think I'm gonna do it. I don't, I don't really have to drill that much. I just drilled like one hole, and then I just gotta put a washer on the other hole. That way it clamps it down, but I'm not really drilling, just drilling one hole into it, and that's it. Um, if they fall off, who cares? <laughs> they were cheap. I don't want to invest a lot of time into them because uh, they cheaped out. Oh, she good, doubt. She good. Besides from this hideous thing right here, she good. I wish I got, I gotta find some type of trim for underneath here because it's, I hate the way that looks. Let's see some window trim or something. Oh yeah, there's, I'll be shocked if I can see anything out of those. From behind, they look like they just sit so off. But I could be wrong. Somehow, magically, they could work. That's not too shabby. I'm gonna bang out the other ones and then we'll call it a day. Do they work? Yes. Do they fit? Kinda. Overall, slightly happy with them besides this ugliness. Um, but again, if you wrap your whole car black and I don't understand, I, I don't understand why they didn't design around this. Like, why in the world did you just design here? But slightly sturdy if it falls off. I think they were like 30 bucks, I'm not sure. I didn't wire them in, I almost don't. I don't know, I should one day. I'll wire them in one day. But they're on, they work. They Both sides are on. This side actually fit like um, two out of bolts lined up. And that is good. I love filming at this time of the day, the golden hour. Everything always looks good. Like no matter how dirty and or poopy your car is, they look all right. Two girls out, this feels really good. Really, really happy with life right now. Like, shapa, shapa po. This needs wheels, but it's all good. This is just needs a lot of cleanup work. But um, yeah, the overall looks good. I don't know when I'm gonna start wrapping it, because it's it shouldn't be too bad. Because I'm going to any fiberglass. I'm gonna take off and just um, paint, like uh, the intricate bumpers. I'm just gonna paint them gloss black. But the rest of the body, I'm just gonna wrap wrap, wrap gloss black. So. I can't see myself. I don't jinx it, but it shouldn't be too bad. Um, but then again, I never wrapped the car. So, side note: super happy with the outcome of these side mirrors. So, um, would I recommend them? Depends what you're doing. If you just need them for uh, like drift car, sure. If you need them for the road, I want to say no, but I've yet to drive with them. So, I can't imagine them working. I would throw my seats in, but they're still apart. You look good smell good it works all right guys question for you any of my s14 homies i've been trying to get my window back on track for like a couple months now because i got a switch and it works but it's getting caught up and it doesn't go up all the way and it won't meet on the track um i'm not sure if you guys can somehow walk me through on getting the window back on track but when i push it down these don't ever really line up these guys and the window gets all wonky like it's like I don't know how to explain it hopefully you've dealt with windows I know like a couple of the homies have a bunch of s14s but even like this never lines up with that and I know it was on there one time at one point so I'm just trying to get an understanding and then this guy seems to be constantly in the way of the window all right little update i was able to find this in my rail so that worked better uh, now i just have to get it back on track still having a little bit of difficulty but i'll get it lena wants to go scooter so i'm going to wrap up and then pull this back in the garage for, try to set my set my window up so that way these cats i swear a cat comes in here there is cat hair all over my back seat and i just cleaned it and the Zanky freaks out at some cat that's always around here, so.
That's it. Guys, on whatever. Ah! All right, let's try this again. So I kind of made a decision recently, or today, to take a night, take some time off of um, the brand, uh, uh, the, pretty much the brand that I've created over the past years or so, the past couple years, because I've in um, I wrote down some ideas on reasonings, but really I just need a recalibration. Like I feel that when I was set out for this journey, it came from a pure place and um, for the longest time it was just about creating and having fun. And somewhere along those lines, I just kind of got lost with um, what I wanted to provide. Because I feel like the best, the best way, you're either providing a solution to, to your customers or your clients or people, or you're just kind of like there to be there to participate. And I really don't want to be there just to participate. So I'm kind of going to take some time and um, set back and then kind of re-strategize everything. Like what do we, what, like I wrote down, I'm coming up with this huge, huge sheet that's like, what do we sell? What is our solution? Who are we? Um, just different ideas. Uh, what is our design language? What is what is the meaning behind everything? Like I know it, at first it was like finding your cause in life, and it, and of course it will stay that. But what is the solution we're bringing to this world? So with that, I'm just pretty much going to take the next couple months, um, maybe even be longer, to shut down the website, shut down anything, any orders, any orders that already are in are going to get fulfilled, and then. Um, from there just shut it down and do a fresh reboot a fresh recalibration and um, Just get back to my roots because I feel that um, That's kind of what I'm trying to do is just get back to where I was um, Along the way I got a little lost and I'm gonna clean up a lot of the mess I made Just gonna do a fresh clean clean house clean ideas um, figure out what I want to do moving forward because I want to be solution based I don't want to just be there to participate. I want to make a difference and not even make a difference, but have bring value, have something to like, why, if, if you're not bringing something of, something new or of value, like what, do you, what are you even here for? And that's how I felt. Like I felt like, what am I doing this? Why am I doing this? So yeah, that's a little overall update. <sighs> All right guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video, um, share it, spread the word. Um, try, yeah, all that good stuff. Uh, we're gonna continue. I need to buy vinyl wrap soon, because I would love to start wrapping that car. It's just gonna take time. And the first step is to really clean my garage well and organize. I guess first step is seats, like finish the interior out too. With that, I love you guys. Oh, that's your boy, son. Have a great freaking Thursday. I love you so much. Holla, boys. Holla,